Today we're going to introduce how to create a new concept set within the Atlas platform. Concept sets are expressions that allow for identifying sets of concepts that can be grouped together and used in subsequent analyses. Concept sets are listed in the concept sets function on the left hand side of the Atlas menu. On the top right of under concept sets there is a button that says New Concept. Clicking that concept creates a blank concept set expression. If we are interested in creating a concept set for hypertension, we can simply give it a name, hypertension, and click Save. By having a concept set open, we now can go through the task of identifying and adding concepts to our expression. To do this, we will go to our search function and we will type in the concepts that we are interested in identifying. I am interested in hypertension and so I will search for that. Note, when I'm in my vocabulary search, you will see a breadcrumb on the top that says that I am open to this new concept set I've created called hypertension. When I searched for the term hypertension, a series of concepts came back. If I'm interested in filtering down to a particular standard condition concept, I may identify this particular term of essential hypertension, which has a large number of records in this particular source database. So I will select essential hypertension. When I select essential hypertension, I may be interested in exploring the related concepts or navigating the hierarchy of terms associated with essential hypertension. By selecting the hierarchy, I can see the parents of essential hypertension and the children. Here, I can see one parent concept that's of particular interest is hypertensive disorder. So I will select that concept. By selecting the hypertensive disorder concept, the screen is refreshed to show me the new hierarchical relationships using hypertensive disorder as the concept of interest and showing me the parents and children of that concept. Of note, next to each one of these records, you see a little icon for a shopping cart. It is up top where it says hypertensive disorder, as well as next to each of these records. Selecting and a shopping cart will change its color from shaded out gray to orange. That shopping cart is selecting concepts to be placed into your concept set. So here, by making this orange, I have now added the term hypertensive disorder into my concept set for the term hypertension. In this hierarchy view, we can identify both concepts that we would want to include, as well as concepts that we may potentially want to exclude. So by looking at all descendants of hypertension, hypertensive disorder, I may say that I'm interested in hypertensive disorder and all of its descendants, but I then may want to look through the children of hypertensive disorder to identify any concepts that I may want to exclude. For example, potentially I am not interested in defining hypertension and including pregnancy-induced hypertension. I will select that for my shopping cart. Or I may potentially not be interested in uh, post-operative hypertension, so I could select that particular concept. Here you can see by having three items marked in the shopping carts, I can expect that my concept set will now have three entries. And indeed, to get back to the concept set expression that we are building, I can select the term hypertension up top from the breadcrumbs. When I select that concept, we're brought to the concept set expression selected here, and we can see the three records that we have selected. Here, I may be interested in looking at all concepts of hypertensive disorder, including its descendants. So I can click the descendant checkbox uh, to the right. If I do that, the number of included concepts changed from three concepts 
to 139 concepts. But if I now want to exclude pregnancy-induced hypertension and post-operative hypertension, I can click the exclude buttons and also exclude their associated descendants. And we can see that dynamically the concept set expression is being materialized into a set of included concepts. That set now comprises 102 different concepts based on this expression using these th three terms. I can explore those included concepts in this included concept tabs to try to understand which concepts are now being represented by this expression. And I can further explore the source codes that roll up to these standard concepts, including looking at my source vocabularies that might be of interest to me. For example, if I wanted to know which ICD-9 codes are now represented in this concept set expression, I could rapidly ex filter my data set down to the vocabulary and look at the particular codes. By saving this concept set in the top right green bar, I've now created a concept set called hypertension that can be used in subsequent analyses. If I close this and go back to my list, we will now see that I've entered the hypertension concept set and it is going to be available as a resource uh, throughout the entire Atlas toolset. If you are interested in learning more about the Atlas capabilities, including how to explore the vocabulary and navigate concept sets, uh, please check out our videos at odyssey.org.